Hi, this is Danielle from Danielle's Homemade Products. I know it has been quite some time since I've done a video. I, mean, I think the first two videos I did were more informational for a Facebook party I was doing online, so I figured I would actually try to start uh, doing more videos um, on different things. Um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, actual soap. Um, I've been making soap now uh, roughly about two years. Uh, I started making it originally because I got tired of looking at ingredients labels on shampoos, bars of soap, lotion, and not being able to pronounce any of the ingredients on it. Um, it just kind of made me a little weirded out, I guess, is the best way that I can think to describe it. Um, I do have a blood clotting disorder. I am a diabetic, so I have to be very careful about a lot of things in my life. I'm probably not as careful as I should be since there are plenty of things that I do that I'm probably not supposed to do. Um, but the one thing that I am a little particular about is my skin, mainly because between the two, uh, my skin tends to be very dry and easily irritated. Um, it's... I've never had much luck with a store-bought bar of soap. Uh, commercial soaps always made me feel dry, my skin would be itchy, um, irritated, and there were times where I had to, or I felt like I needed to take a shower after I got out of the shower simply because my skin was just so dry and I would peel really badly and have a lot of dry skin come off and sloth off like I was like shedding snake skin. It was really weird and not not enjoyable, obviously. Um, I haven't had that problem really since I started making my own soaps. Um, that's one thing that's nice about it. The, the soap that I do make, the majority of the soaps that I make are more of a, a gentle soap for sensitive skin. Um, I don't do a whole lot with, you know, exotic oils or butters at this point. I still do more of a basic bar, uh, more for gentle skin, more for uh, my own sensitivity than than anything else. I have I've had lots of uh, friends and relatives who've used it and who have liked it and have had no problems with it, uh, which is nice. Um, there are sorry, a little bit of traffic here, and since I'm out in the middle of nowhere, it's a little unusual. Um, I think I know him. Uh, and anyway, sorry sidetracked. Yes, I do that quite often, ADHD. Um, but there were a lot of things about the commercial purchased products that I was using that I just really didn't care for. And that ha that is one of the major things was the extremely dry skin, itchiness, um, the constant having to use body scrubs to, to slough off the extra dry skin. And I had to use them, the body scrubs on pretty much a daily basis if I didn't want to have to take a shower after I got out of the shower. At least that's how I felt. Um, and with my homemade soap, I don't really have that as much of an issue. Uh, every once in a while I do still use a body scrub just because it does soften the skin, and especially in the summertime when, you know, I tend to tan a little bit more naturally and I, I like to keep my skin a little easier for shaving, but I don't have to do it every day like I was having to do it with commercial soap. Um, so my question for you today, for all that are listening, watching, whatnot, please don't forget to, to like and share the video and subscribe. Uh, again, I'm going to start trying to do more and more videos. And I realize as I'm driving that the people driving past me probably think I'm talking to myself. Uh, but my question for you today is, what about your soap, whether it's a bar or a lotion or a body wash, wh whichever shampoo, what about it do you like and what don't you like about it? Uh, leave it in the comments below. Talk to you soon.